and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a what I got my kids for Christmas and as I'm filming this, Christmas is in two days. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve and I really needed to sit down and film this because we need to wrap. <laughs> Me and my husband are so last minute. We like wrap our presents, the kids' presents, every year for Christmas on Christmas Eve. I don't know why, it's just the way we do it. So I know this video is going to be kind of lengthy, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So I do want to make a little bit of a disclaimer um, before we really get into the video, and that is we keep things very light when it comes to our girls because we don't live anywhere near family, so our family sends in tons of gifts for Christmas for our girls, and we have a lot of family sending gifts. Just on my husband's side, of course, we have his parents who send gifts and of seven kids. So he has six siblings, and they all send gifts for our girls as well so right there they have a ton of gifts and then my mom sends gifts of course we have grandparents who send gifts for our kids so we keep things very minimal just to not overwhelm them and um, they don't need a lot of stuff if we're being honest my girls are three and one so um, my three-year-old is just now kind of getting into Christmas and understanding what all that is so we keep things light while we can <laughs> while they're little um, and before they get older and they ask for a lot more stuff so we just keep things light because like I said they get a ton of stuff from family members so we get them a couple gifts here a couple gifts there and that's kind of how we do things so that is that um, they both get one big gift from Santa a family gift from Santa and then the rest of the gifts are from mom and dad so that's how we format these and I think that's that so let's just go ahead and get into the presents so I'm going to try to separate this for um, so I can show you everything London's getting and then everything Lakin is getting so London is my three-year-old and she's getting a baby doll um, she's recently been really into carrying around stuffed animals and pretending that they're babies and she'll like ask for a bottle and she wants to like pretend to feed the baby so I figured I would get her a real one and this one comes with a bottle a pacifier and like a little stuffed animal thing that's attached to them so I think that she'll really really like this so this is London's big gift this is what's coming from Santa so the one thing that she really really kept asking for is a dollhouse which was really surprising to me because London is very much my tomboy but um, recently she's been getting more into girly things so that's why we got the baby doll for her and this so this is the Fisher Price one it comes with a bunch of different furniture um, a puppy and then two like a brother and a sister um, I think she'll really really love this I just picked this up yesterday this was the last thing I picked up and she's going to love this so the next thing London got were all of these dino trucks her favorite show on Netflix is dino trucks and her two favorite things in the world are dinosaurs and trucks so it's like a no-brainer that she would love that show but um, I have no idea who is who but she got a blue one, an orange one, and a red one. So she'll really, really like these. The next thing London got was this Hot Wheels set. So it just comes with um, a track. It just has two lanes on it, and the cars go down, and it comes with a uh, little Hot Wheels. This is something my husband picked up for her, um, and she is going to absolutely love this. So the next thing London got were a couple of books. This is something we do every year. It's something I want to continue to do is to get them books every year for Christmas. So the first book she got was this PJ Masks one and it's just um, like illustrated like it would an episode. Um, it's almost like an I Spy book. It's kind of like a game book. Um, so she has some problem solving things in here to do and stuff but she's really into PJ Masks so I think she'll really like this. If you guys um, saw our Halloween vlog, London was Owl Owlette for Halloween so she'll go nuts over this. Then the next book she got was this Dinosaur Trains book. Um, I really was excited to find this book because it's a sticker book so it has all of the stickers here in the back and then she can place them wherever she wants throughout the story so I think this is something that she'll really really enjoy and then the next book we got if you guys don't know we do homeschool um, so we got her this ABC's book it's just like 
um, basically like a workbook for ages three to five. <laughs> but she will really like this for Christmas. She enjoys doing these things, but they're just set up for her to practice her ABCs and reading and writing. And um, I think there's some numbers in the back. So this is just a really simple book, but she really, really will love this. So that's another thing we got for her. Thing London is really into is bows in her hair. She calls them bones, um, but she only has a couple of them just because even though London's three, she's just recently gotten a lot of hair within the last probably year or so. So we're just now getting into doing bows and things like that. So she wanted some more bows for her hair. So we ended up picking these up for her. And then the last thing London got is this jumpsuit. This is something I got from Walmart. This is super, super soft. Like, I want one for myself. Um, but I got hers in this blue color because this is something that would match most of the stuff in her wardrobe. Like, to put a shirt underneath because it's just a zip-up hoodie and some sweatpants. But London pretty much lives in these jumpsuits. They're, like, her favorite thing to wear. So I ended up picking her up one of these for Christmas. So moving on to Lakin. I ended up getting her the same jumpsuit. It's just as soft and just as like warm and cozy, but hers is in gray just because this is the color that would match most of the stuff in her wardrobe. So I ended up getting her the same thing. Hers doesn't have a hood on it, but super cozy, super comfy. We do a lot of traveling. So these are things that the kids are like wear all the time in the car while we're doing long car rides and stuff. So um, we can never have enough of these. <laughs> The next thing Lakin got was this Mrs. Potato Head. I really struggled this year on finding something for her that she would really like just because she's one. She turned one at the end of September, so it's kind of hard. She's just now kind of developing her personality and figuring out what she likes. But this is something that you're like you can't go wrong with. It's a good teaching tool for like eyes, nose, mouth, all that stuff, but I think that she'll really like this. The next thing Lakin got were these ponies. She's kind of really getting into these. Um, she really likes My Little Ponies, but they, they were like sold out everywhere. Like everywhere. I looked all over and could not find any. Like none. Not even one. So I ended up getting these. I know they're not the same, but they're still ponies. And um, she's one, so I don't really think she's going to know the difference. So we got these for her as well. Just like London, Lakin did get a book. She got my 100 First Words book. And this is the paperback book, or the board book pages, which is what I prefer um, for the little kids. But they just have all of the pictures and then the word of what it is underneath to help her talking. Because she, she has a couple of words under her belt, but she doesn't talk nearly as much as London did at that age. So I'm hoping that this will help her kind of boost her vocabulary. The next thing we got for Lakin was a baby doll. Um, these were so cheap at Walmart. They were like 10 bucks a piece. So I figured if London's getting one, Lakin might as well get one just so there's no fighting because I really think this is something that both of the girls were, will enjoy. So this is a, the same doll, just a different version of what London got. So this one comes with an elephant and a bottle, the passy, same thing. Just this one is purple and the other one is blue. So hopefully there's no fighting. I would have gotten two of the same, but they didn't have any. So I'm hoping that they don't fight over the dolls because they're not exactly the same. <laughs> So this is Lakin's big gift. This is Lakin's gift from Santa and this is also the Fisher Price brand and this is a really big farm. Um, so this makes a ton of noise and make, plays a ton of songs which Lakin will love and it comes with a cow, a farmer, uh, two chickens and a pig and I think there's a goat somewhere down here as well. But the good thing about these big gifts, really all of these gifts, my girls are so close in age. They're 22 months apart. So all of these gifts they'll both play with. It's kind of like everyone will play with these, especially because they're both girls. They're both going to enjoy and play with all these gifts. But this was Lakin's big gift. This is going to have Lakin's name on it, even though both of the girls are going to play with it. So between this and London's dollhouse, we'll have a whole village of Fisher-Price um, little houses here. So the last thing we got is going to put both of the girls' names on it. This is something that my mom did every year for um, me, my sister, and my brother. She got like a family gift where everyone's name on it, and it was from Santa, and it would just say like, um, like 
to the Smet family from Santa. So that's what we're going to do for our girls every year. It's a tradition that I kind of want to carry on. It really just brings the family together and kind of like forces you all to do something um, together if you have a family gift. So these are just those big Lego blocks, big building blocks. This is something that both of the girls will love to play with. We have a homeschooling teacher who comes to our home once a week and she brings these and both of the girls go crazy over them. So we found this, there's I think 200 pieces in here. There's 100 pieces in here, but lots of fun to be had in here. I love that it came in a case because these things get everywhere. So this is a family gift, something that we'll all be able to play with and enjoy, which really all of these gifts we will play with and enjoy. But this is going to be the family gift. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let me know down below what are you most excited to give your kids for Christmas this year. I know my mom has some awesome gifts for my siblings. They're big gifts. They're going to freak out when they get their gifts. So I want to know what you guys are most excited to give your kids. And I think for me, I'm most excited for both of them to open up their farm and their dollhouse. I think that is the one that both of the girls will be most excited to play with. So that is that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!